Hello, this is Jason with Cauldron, and today I want to go over the Cauldron Fire Mobile. I want to tell you a little bit about the features and benefits and show you how to operate it. So let's start with the various parts of the Cauldron. It has a vacuum insulated bottle up top, so that will keep drinks cold, um, keep drinks hot, and you're kind of your typical thing you're used to seeing from a vacuum insulated bottle. The center section here, though, is where it gets a little bit different. This part with the buttons. That is a heating element, and it can heat liquids uh, inside the, the bottle there all the way up to boiling if you want to go that high, or you can pick lower than boiling temperatures and it will kick on and off to maintain them all day long. So the power for that heating element comes from a removable, rechargeable battery pack. The battery pack even has USB charge out ports on the back where you've got a one amp and a two amp USB charge out. That center section there is for the, the charging cord to plug into the battery pack. You don't have to use battery power with the Cauldron Fire Mobile. We do have a, a power coaster for your desk that plugs into the wall. The, the heating element and the bottle unit sit on top of that. It lifts on and off. Take a drink, set it back down, it goes right back to the setting you had it on. Um, so you can get a truly wire-free drinking experience at your desk and not have to worry about how much battery power you have left. The lid on Cauldron is pretty unique as well. There's a lash point for various packs, things like that. There's a cold drink spout that screws off, so you can take big gulps you can pour out of it. It has a pressure release valve built into it. So we're boiling water here potentially, so we want to make sure it's, it's plenty safe for you. The hot drink spout is built for sipping hot liquids. Set that back on the battery here, just line up the arrows and twist and it will lock on. So I mentioned it can go all the way up to boiling. Boiling is a very useful function. Uh, we're the only battery powered uh, bottle in, in a reasonable size that you can carry around uh, that can boil water without using fire that's doing it just from battery power. So emergency preparedness, if you're going to be out on a camping trip that's an overnighter, maybe a couple of days, it can function as a, a replacement for a fuel stove. Uh, there's some cooking applications that you can do with boiling water. Um, it, it's a very useful tool to have from that standpoint. And to, once you've turned on the battery and you do that, I've already got this one turned on, but there's a, a button right here on the battery. You just press it once, it'll turn on. Once you have the battery on to launch into boil mode, you just press the right hand button one time. And I don't know if you can pick this up on the audio or not, but you'll, you'll hear the heating element kick on, typically at that point. <clears throat> and you will see lights start blinking over here, depending on how hot the, the water that's in the bottle is. So as the water heats up, these lights will slowly go solid until they go all the way across to the fourth light. That means it's reached the boiling temperature and it will shut off at that point and you've got uh, boiling water to, to do whatever you need with. So to shut that off after you've started that cycle, you just press either one of these buttons and it'll cancel it. So I press the right hand button and it went off again. So the, the feature that people use most with Cauldron is actually the temperature maintenance feature. And we've got four different temperatures that um, are predefined for you. And they're, they're designed to use uh, for use with uh, specific uh, roles. And I'll explain those here in just a second. So to launch into the, the temperature maintenance mode, instead of pressing the right hand button, you're gonna press the left hand button, you're gonna hold it until one of the lights starts blinking. And then it, it could be any four of those lights, depending on what the last temperature setting you used was. Um, in this case, it's the first light, and it will start blinking fast. Uh, that's how you know you're, you're in the temperature maintenance mode versus the boiling mode. Um, th this is a much faster blink than the boiling mode. So the first light here represents 135 degrees. And what 135 is good for is drinking coffee, tea, hot cocoa, those sorts of things. That's a that's the temperature we think is uh, perfect for the, a cup of coffee. Many manufacturers, uh, many coffee manufacturers recommend that you drink their coffee at, at that temperature. And it, it's just really great for that. 
So to cycle through to the next temperature, you just press this button again, and you can do this as many times as you want to cycle through. So I will cycle through to the, the, the second light from the right, and that is 145 degrees. So a lot of people like their coffee just a, a little bit hotter and or, or their tea, and that is the perfect temperature for, for those people. Um, it's just, you know, th that will, that will feel extra hot in your mouth compared to the 135 temperature we were just talking about. So going to the third light from the right, this one's a really versatile temperature setting. It's 170 degrees and that's great for, uh, it's about as hot as you can put in your mouth without actually hurting yourself. So people that like their their coffee to just be scorching hot, um, that's for them. Uh, that's too hot for most people, but there are people that will drink it there. Uh, it's great for heating up soups, for cooking freeze-dried foods, that sort of thing. And because it's it's as hot as you can put it in your mouth without hurting yourself, um, it's you don't need to go any hotter than that when you're reheating things. So it's probably the most versatile cooking uh, cooking setting that we have. Then going to the last button here, the, the fourth from the right, this is 205 degrees. So 205 is too hot to drink beverages at. Um, that, that's scaldingly hot. But it's still a pretty versatile temperature setting because that is the temperature you should brew coffee at, you should brew black tea at that temperature, and it's a great temperature for for purifying water. A lot of people don't realize that you don't need to, uh, I should say sterilizing water. You don't need to actually boil water to sterilize it. Um, going to 205 um, is adequate and it is a little bit easier on the battery life than going all the way to boiling. The last couple of degrees when you boil sucks a lot of battery life down. Uh, so you can get uh, longer battery life and still um, render your water safe from all the little creepy crawlies and stuff like that by going to 205. And so, um, Once you've selected the temperature that you want it to be at, you go ahead and you press the right hand button again and you'll notice the flashing will go from that fast flash that we were seeing just a second ago to a slower flash. And that's how you know it's it's on the right temperature setting. Um, you can hear the, the heating element kick on typically as well. Um, as it heats up to the temperature you selected, you'll see these lights start to fill in. Um, if it's over the temperature you selected, if the liquid that's in the bottle is already hotter than the temperature you selected, the light will go to a slow flash for a minute and then it'll go out. And it won't come back on until the temperature inside the bottle has dropped um, down to the, the temperature you selected. And at that point, it'll kick on and off to uh, maintain that temperature going forward. So there you have the Cauldron Fire Mobile. It's the, the world's smartest water bottle. It's the optimum way to drink a hot beverage um, and a great companion for a camping trip or an emergency situation.